Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Mary Colette here. How are you doing? So based on popular demand, I will be talking about how I edit my YouTube videos. Now, for those who haven't seen it, I made a video talking about how I film my videos using my phone. And I asked if you wanted to see how I edit my videos with my phone and a lot of you said yes. So this is me recording this video, giving you guys some of the tips and tricks I use to edit my videos. This video is mostly for people who are just starting off and probably thinking they need the fanciest editing software and don't know how to go about it. So without further ado, I'm just gonna stop talking so much and get right into this video. If you're like me and you film with your phone, you know that our major problem is space. So you want to make sure that you utilize space as much as possible. You don't want to go on talking about unnecessary things, things that are not relevant to your video, just so that it doesn't take up too much space on your phone, thereby making editing take too long because you're spending so much time cutting out unnecessary bits. The first thing I do to avoid this is to shoot with editing in mind. So before I shoot anything, I always, always picture it in my head. I always picture how I would like the video to go. I know that if I want a particular video or a particular clip to come first before I start talking, or I want to say a couple of words first before inserting my montage and then starting my video. So stuff like that, you want to shoot with editing in mind. Another thing that I do to reduce my shooting time is to script. I don't necessarily script the whole thing, but I just write talking points because you don't want a situation where you finish recording and you're editing and you're like, oh, I forgot to say this or I forgot to say that. So to avoid that, one thing you can do, especially if your YouTube is more of like a chit chat channel, then one thing you want to do to help with your editing, to help reduce your editing time and save space on your phone is to write down talking points. Cool. All right, let's go to the next one. So after I have scripted and I know exactly how I want my shoots to go, I shoot my videos, say everything that I need to say. What I go ahead to do is to import my footage into my editing app. Now, because I edit on my phone, the app that I use and I swear by is called InShot. If you wake me up right now and say, MC, what editing app should I use to edit my YouTube video? I'll tell you InShot. InShot is that app any day, any time. Now, a little advice that I would give, however, is to pay for the pro version. There are things you can do with the free version, but trust me, the pro version is better. <laughs> there are more options. I paid for like for a whole year and that cost me 5,000 naira. Best 5,000 naira I've ever spent in my opinion. So the next thing I do after importing my clip into my editing app in shots is to trim. I am a sucker for jumpy videos. Like I love pace. I don't talk too fast. So I like to make up for that with jump cuts. So I go ahead and trim all my mistakes, all my arms, you know, basically those are words that I say way too often just to make the video more straight to the point, more fast paced and more interesting. So next thing I do is add visual and sound effects. Now from a producer standpoint, there is nothing I find more interesting than referencing things. If I'm talking about my dream camera, I like to find pictures of what I'm talking about and put them on the screen. So where a title is necessary, put it where the subscribe icon you think is necessary. You're going from one scene to the other, so the transition, and if you want to spice it up, you can put like a sound with the transition as well. You can play around the transition. InShot comes with so many transitions that you can play around with. I feel like it will be more interesting when someone has something else to look at as opposed to looking at you for the whole 10 minutes, the whole 15 minutes, pop up on the screen, your name tag. You can add video on video. You can add pictures on video. You can add sound. You can either use the sound that comes in the InShot app or you can download apps externally and then import them into your InShots app. You can also add texts. There are so many texts that come with the InShots app. You can also import text from external sources as well. There are so many visual and audio effects that you can play with to make your video just more interesting. One thing with the InShots app, one thing with pretty much everything generally is the more you use it, the more you get used to it, the more you find out new and exciting ways that you can use the apps. Practice makes better, you know, 
I don't know about perfect, but it makes you better. So the more you use it, the better you get. Another thing that I do not play with when it comes to my edits is music. Now, as far as I'm concerned, my video is in no way complete without music. Music helps me tell my story better. Even when I'm doing as little as a sit down video, I want to hear music playing in the background. I just think it's just plain and boring when I'm just talking, talking, talking. Music is half of a viewer's experience. So well-placed music helps take the viewer's experience from zero to a hundred. Music helps evoke emotions. So what kind of emotion are you trying to evoke with your vlog, for instance? Music helps you tell that story, at least to me. And that's one thing that I do not play with, but it's also one thing, especially on YouTube, that you can easily go wrong with. And I, I get it sometimes when people just cannot be bothered, especially when you use a particular music and the next thing you have like a copyright strike or whatever, but there are websites that you can get copyright free music from the website i use is called thematic hello thematic.com there are so many songs on there that can match the vibe of your vlog your video whatever video it is you want to put out so all you have to do is link your youtube channel to the website and give the artist credit another website i use is epidemic sound i feel like their website is more organized than thematic so for epidemic sound you have sad they put sad music happy music cinematic music so if you want like a cinematic type of song you just go directly to cinematic music and you find it there so i feel like i prefer epidemic sounds interface more than thematics interface but as far as the music go i don't really know which one i prefer so epidemic sound and thematic are two websites that you can definitely check out for your music cool all right last but certainly not the least thing i do for my edits is my thumbnail so what i do is right after filming my video i take my pictures separately because i've come to find out that the pictures are just clearer that way i tried one time just posing while filming but screenshotting reduces the quality for me so i take the pictures separately on landscape mode and two apps that I use for my thumbnails are Canva and Fonto. I use Fonto majorly because of their fonts. InShot is also a photo editing app, so I can use InShot to like put pictures together. I don't know what that thing is called. It's like a picture collage options. So I can do that on my InShot or I can do that on my Canva. Depends on my mood. So three apps that I definitely recommend for thumbnails are Canva, Fonto, and InShot. That's about it for my thumbnails. Yes, 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 guys. Those are the basic details about how I edit my YouTube videos. I am constantly looking for new ways to make my videos interesting. I'm constantly watching the videos. I even most recently registered for M. Etetim's class. I don't know if you guys know her, but she's like a YouTuber that I watch and I really, really, really love how she edits. And she has like an editing course that I'm on like the wait list for. So as soon as she starts, I would also register for that as well. One thing I would say, however, is just keep on practicing. The more you edit, the more you film, the better you get, the more you discover new tips and new tricks that I probably didn't even mention in this video. You're definitely not going to be at the position you were when you first started if you are consistent with it. And I hope this video helps as well, especially for those who specifically asked. And um, yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope these tips helped. If it did, let me know in the comment section and let me know if you have any more questions if there's anything i forgot to talk about or touch on let me know in the comment section if you also have things or tips that you think can also help someone or me as well because i am constantly learning guys i'm constantly learning how to be better also make sure to like this video and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next video bye